Hello. In this video, I'd like to show you how to view feedback your instructors may leave for you. If you're a new student, this will be all new to you. If you're a, a returning student, you know we used to use a different system, so it's going to look a little different, and that's why we wanted to make sure you also saw this as well. The best way to do this is click on your grades because you're going to be looking at feedback that your instructor has left on assignments you've submitted. So let's come down to this Excel. The way you do this is you click to view feedback. So this hasn't changed for anyone who used to be familiar with this. This has changed. It just looks a little different. So your instructors will do similar things that they did before, but the appearance is slightly different. So I just want to make sure you understand that. You will see that they may highlight. In the past, they could highlight in different colors. Now, it's only going to be yellow. They will still have the ability, as before, to leave what's called an area comment. So they're highlighting an area, and they're going to make a comment on that. They still have the ability to strike through information. So if you've put information in incorrectly, they might choose to strike it out and leave an annotation. Or they may choose to do the point annotation. So these are all options that they have. Every place where any type of annotation is made, whether it's a strikeout or the point annotation, there's room for them to comment. So when you see the comments, follow the line. And how do you follow the line? Hover over the comment and it will point to the direct area where something was said. So again, here I hover and that will highlight that it's the area comment where this comment is tied to. Sometimes when you have a paper with many annotations, it can get a little confusing. So just be aware of that. Another thing I want to make sure that you are aware of is as a student, you can choose to reply to a comment that has been left. You can click reply and you can leave a message. If you do this, I believe it would be best to still let your instructor know that you have left a comment on a paper because this doesn't automatically notify them of your comments. So if you choose to come in and leave a reply to an annotation and comment that they have made, please be sure to send them a message either through Canvas inbox or an email, whatever method the instructor recommends for you. So again, let me show you another way. You're always going to be going to grades. You're always going to be going to the assignment. You're always going to be going to view feedback and then you will see the comments that exist. So there are many types of options. There are free form. Some instructors might do that, but for the most part, you're going to see a point with the comment. And I apologize that so much of this is off of the screen. It's because I'm doing it in a test environment or an area comment. And then once again, the comments on the side. For you, you will not see this. The one other thing which you can barely see is you do have the ability to stretch it just a bit to keep it within that window. So even in your instance, you'll have that ability. So I hope this helps. You will see this in your writing intensive classes and any class in theory where you have submitted a written assignment or even an Excel or PowerPoint.